Alright, hey guys, welcome back to The Lemon King, Season 2, Survival, Episode Number 7, and I believe the end of last episode we started walking out here looking for cows to get leather, and uh, yeah, we're still looking for cows, but I would have just cut through this whole hunt, Chimadurir, but I had a few things I decided to talk about, because a few things have been happening around. And I feel like you guys should know about it, but the temple. Where to start? That temple over there? No, oh, thought I saw a temple. No. All right. What is the first thing I want to start with? Who oh, man, so many things. I guess first we'll start with. Um, seems like a lot of you guys, if you watched it, enjoyed the only if gameplay and commentary and if you don't know what only if is um, you should go check out those videos first place but only if is this game about a teenager who gets drunk at a party and wakes up on the kitchen table and it's in this weird dream or as it seems to be a dream and I'm not gonna spoil the whole story for you guys because it hasn't all finished yet but he goes through this wacky thing with him this one guy's girlfriend goes through a bunch of puzzles and it's just you're just gonna say what the fuck that's all you're gonna say to the entire thing or what the hell or what the yeah, you're gonna say a bunch of things but I said plenty of it during the commentary and uh, so did the the characters <laughs> characters said it more than me though so I'm gonna credit for that but that game is just so weird and I think it's really funny so that's why I continue to upload it I played it, I had no idea what I was up against going into it. All I knew was it was supposed to be this really weird and funny game, and I had no idea that was what I was going to get. So, thanks for the support throughout the series, and um, if you want, you can always um, recommend some Steam games to me, whether they're free or not, and I'll try to get some money together. They're not free, but only if it's free on Steam, and um, some or a couple other games that I might try to play. But there is one other game that I'll be coming out with very, very soon. Um, I did try to record one episode of it already, but the episode it wasn't really that good. And um, Fraps decided to stop working throughout the video. So, uh, yeah, it was all cut up and it was a big mess. I, I didn't get very far. But basically, we're going to be playing Unturned. Um, Unturned came out July 7th um, 2014 and it's free to play on Steam so far but a lot of people put it down as like not one of the most well, not one of the best looking games ever but it's actually really not bad basically if you want to get the gist of it it's a zombie survival game but to classify you want to th what the hell is that whoa But uh, if you want to classify, put Minecraft, Roblox, and DayZ in the same exact area, in the same exact game, and that's what we get. That's what it is. So, I, I have a lot of fun playing it, but it's a lot harder to do. Um, we can set up hosts if other people want to play it. I can set up a host game that you guys can connect to. We can play some multiplayer as long as you don't go out and troll stuff. I mean, then I'll just kick you. But it's a really fun game, and it is kind of difficult. I've died many times. Oh, we got a witch. Okay, my arrow shots are just way off. I'm looking for a a cow. That's all I'm looking for. Just one cow. And I can't get that one cow. So that's the things on Steam I wanted to talk about. Add me on Steam if you haven't already. It's uh, the Lemon King MC. Or you type in. I don't even know what my other one was. I changed the name to match my YouTube. Um, but recommend some games, and I'll try to play them, and hopefully we can get some group games together. Um, I try to do, I might, yeah, sometimes I'll do like prop hunt and uh, Gary's Mod things. 
but I normally don't record those. Um, once I get some more people to pl play with, my friends are going back into school and get some of them to play, then we can do that. Um, yeah, so that's what we got for Steam. Um, another thing is a new series that I may be starting soon is my friend Chris Builds on YouTube. You can go check him out. Has uh, created with MC Pro Host a faction server, so I might be doing some factions gameplay and commentary and wrecking some noobs, but oh yeah, that, that should be a fun time. Go get back into factions. We haven't done factions since the start of this channel. So hopefully we can get back in that. Um, I'm not big on factions, but when it comes to trying to compete and like get all the gear and go loot stuff, that's really good commentary and it's a lot of fun to do. So that's the whole goal. Hopefully we'll get that faction series set up soon and get that rolling. But if you're wondering why the I don't have a lot of videos going up, I'm doing like one I, every other day with the survival, how it's been so far. But now once I get some more games I'm going to start playing, then it's going to go up to like one day and shuffle it around a little bit. Because I'm not having a lot of time to record right now. I have a lot of stuff finishing up some school stuff that has to be done before the school year starts. Um, I have to get my driver's license. Uh... Uh, pers uh, family things are going on and I don't have a whole bunch of time to record S and I also have uh, the high school sports starting so I may or may not take a break throughout the month of September to just get other things done because I'm not going to have a lot of time to record I may do one every now and then but definitely my upload time will be a lot different um, I'm going to have golf starting for high school um, I'll have all the schoolwork ready to go. I have to do, yeah, I have to do all the schoolwork. Um, we go to Penn State football games, so I'll be out on those days. Um, I'm doing other things with friends. I just fell in a hole. I'm stuck in the hole. Get me out of the hole. Um, but that's the kind of things that will be keeping me out throughout the month of September. Um, then push, looking forward towards the end of the year. October, I'll be pretty much free. Um, golf ends at the beginning of October, and there won't be much after that. Um, throughout October, nothing. I'm really not that busy. I'm still Penn State will be on, on, and I'll be still be on Penn State stuff, and the school stuff will always be on for the rest of the year. But uh, that's not much in October. November. Um. I'm not sure what we're doing for Thanksgiving yet. Um, what we've done for Thanksgiving in the past is we've gone down to Myrtle Beach again for the weekend. Um, last few years we've been going to my uncle's house in North Carolina to spend the weekend. But this year I thought about it and recommended my parents, like, for Thanksgiving this year, why don't they come up here and we can go to the Penn State game? Because normally the last few years we've been missing the last Penn State game that was at home. Now some of them were away, granted. But this year, they're playing Michigan State at home for the last game of the season. And I don't know if he's ever seen a game, or if he has, it hasn't been in a while. So we can come up, we can go to the Penn State game and hang out like that. I think that'd be pretty darn cool. So that that's always an option we're going to be looking at. So Thanksgiving, I'm still tossing in the air, but rest assured, I probably won't be uploading anything for th during Thanksgiving time. Because I definitely will be doing a lot of things family-wise. And then, closing in on December, um, once we get up towards the Christmas time and uh, New Year's, that's where I won't be doing a whole lot. I'll be probably taking a Christmas break. Um, one, Christmas, uh, I'm going to be hanging out with family, my mom and dad side. And, uh... My uncle from, he's he just moved to London to work for two years. He's going to be coming home for Christmas, so we'll be spending time with him and doing all kinds of stuff for Christmas. Normally Christmas, I'm pretty much open. But for Christmas this year, I think I'm just going to get some more um, better mouse and a keyboard and maybe a chair and some more stuff to improve the gaming setup here. I do have a lot of money invested into this room. But for college, college-wise coming up in two years... Um, I don't think I'll be able to take this into my dorm. 
but hopefully I'll be able to get an apartment off campus and then I can move this into that and it'll be sweet so that's that's basically what Skitscape did so that was why a lot of people got mad because they thought he like left and wasn't doing any more YouTube and it's because he went to college and he couldn't do anything about it so that's all thing I don't want to leave oh you piece of crap but if I have to do things what is this? Oh, I thought it was looting but I'm not looking at that yet. We're going to look at the next two years first and see where things lead us. So that's that. And uh, one more thing that I have to talk about. And I think I can get started making bookshelves. Because I think I have to do the achievements. I'll go upstairs and look at it because it's probably safer. Because I think one of the achievements is uh, make bookshelves for the engineering table. But the last thing I really had on my mind to talk about is I kind of there was a skeleton back there. I kind of get bored of my same intro over and over again. And I don't know if you guys do or not. You can leave a comment below if you do. My welcome back to and the music and the Lego blocks kind of type thing falling over. I kind of get bored of like putting the same. Uh, intro in every single video so that's why I'm trying I'm gonna try to get some different intros maybe make some or get people to make me some otherwise I'll just download them off YouTube and uh, put my name in them and stuff like that and make different intros for like different things like unturned will have its own intro um, survival I may make an own intro hunger games will have its own intro mini games will have its own intro and I'll keep doing that vlogs will have their own intro and toss some music in and make some different things so when you see at the beginning of the episode it's a new experience so you know oh this video is going to be a vlog or this video is going to be survival games and that's what I'm going for um, my outros as that um, I like the ones where I can link at the very end but sometimes if I don't have anything really to link or I don't have one specifically made for that video then um, I'll just use the one I have presets, which is the one for only if. It'll be one after only if. So I'll start using But for this one, I have the survival outro, and I'll just keep using that. So what do we have to do here? Build some bookshelves to improve your enchantment table. All right. So bookshelves. Um, I'm going to need wood. All the wood's up here. a bunch of crap in the inventory, I tell you. I don't know why we have so much junk in here. I don't know. And also, thumbnail-wise, sometimes for some games, I'm not going to make thumbnails, and I'm just going to give it what YouTube gives me, because YouTube will give me a selection of, like, three thumbnails I can use, or I could upload my own. So I'll just use those for the games that are, like, only, like, a couple games, like, only if it's going to be, uh, I think, four-episode series. So there's not a whole lot, so I'm not going to worry about it. Um, survival, like I do, I do a new thumbnail for every single episode. Survival so games, maybe, and stuff like that. And I'll be doing some more stuff with friends. So I think I'm going to wait off until I get stuff started with friends and then uh, make new thumbnails. So what do we got to do here? We got to make bookshelves. One, two, three, I think it is. Oh, okay. That's one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And it's like that, I think. All right, librarian. Just put it there. Screw it. I don't need it. So that's all the talking I really had to do for this episode. But I got that out of the way. Deal nine hearts of damage in a single hit. I'm gonna have to work to get an enchantment of sharpness four. Is my sharpness what is sharpness three? Can't even do that. I haven't been able to deal nine hearts of damage. <laughs> I might need a sharpness four or five, so that's gonna be tough. Um, what else we got in the achievement list to look at? Travel by minecart at least one kilometer kilometer from where you start. That one's gonna be tough. Um, guest here and blaze rod. All right, so then I gotta go down here and do all this stuff. 
<sighs> okay. So all this stuff should be done, right? Right here? Yeah. So. I got levels. Try this. Um, also, I'll take this. Or not that, but that down there too. that down there so I can if it doesn't work I could shuffle it um, I think I have a lapis down there let's head on now so, got all the talking out of the way good thing we made progress this episode we haven't done anything else we got we killed cows now we're going to enchant so let's keep moving dun, 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 dun um, and also another thing is people have been asking to play with me I want people to play with me. The problem is I still don't have a lot of time to record. That's what I've been telling my I don't have as much time to record as you think. So that's the problem. I have a bunch of things going on right now. So. Breaking three. That's actually not a bad enchant for one level. Okay, it's my four. Actually. Think about it, Smite 4 wouldn't be that bad. Now it's that I'm looking to. Crap. But, if I can find these two. The Thorns one actually isn't too, too good. Um, so I'm just gonna actually, I might go make a couple. Of them. I might just bring some diamond down and some sticks. Just make a few. <laughs> if I can't get to work. But that's the one bug about the snapshot is that it's supposed to take the normal amount of enchantment levels however it's only taking the amount of lapis you put in so I'm getting a 30 level enchant for 3 levels so we're going to bring down some lapis and a block of diamond let's go we need to get a good enchantment smite 4 would have been good to fight against the zombies. However, I probably would still need a uh, sharpness. <sighs> Smite forward probably knocked out a zombie in one hit, maybe. Probably, I don't think I have any other use for a Smite Four sword though. <laughs> um, let's go. My four looting two and breaking three knock back two. All right, we're gonna try that. It's the middle of a stupid day. That one's just plain sharpness three, so I'm gonna leave you in there with that. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try this guy. So if I can get it to work. But I don't know. There's much else to do this episode. I just basically want to talk about some things with you guys. That's what I was going for. Um, I did put some stuff in here to cook, didn't I? Yeah. 
plenty of food down here. And coal. Something I have plenty of food, and I also have the farm up here that'll make plenty of food. So I'm not worried about the food issue. Um, I don't think I brung back the horse with the diamond armor on it. Shoot. Whoops. We lost the horse. Which I have plenty of armor and stuff for it anyway, so I don't really don't care about the horse. I think this takes 64 of them anyway. I think that's what I measured it out to be. It would use 64 cocoa bean replacements. This wall makes a lot of cocoa beans. I don't know what I'm going to use all these cocoa beans for, but I decided I have the cocoa beans and I can make a farm. Why not do it while I have the chance? I think this thing has a whole stack. Yeah. I use a whole stack. Minus one. Some another wart. I don't know if any of this needs to be put down yet, the wheat there. So close to death. I don't really need a lot of cactuses. Got all that stuff. Take it downstairs, throw it away. So, I don't really know what else to do in this episode. Um, I probably said how many times did I say that today? <laughs> uh, uh. Yeah, that's all. So, now we just wait for the darkness to arrive. Switch is about here, and then after that, if we can sn uh, get the skeleton dead. I guess... <gasps> what the heck is that feature? What the... What? Can I actually... That's cool, dude. 
what happens is if you right click with your uh, sort out and have it in the block position and then start mining with right click or left click and if you do it like in like clicks instead of just holding it in you do it in clicks and you can let go it'll actually hold the breaking and then if you right click it again and start digging you can break it right out so I wonder if I can just do this run away and come back it'll be still be like that it's white like white from here so that's what the almost broken lock looks like from far away. I didn't know that. I don't think anybody knew that. That would be a neat feature, like have like broken blocks and stuff. You could do that. Alright, so wait for the darkness to arrive. And if you're wondering why it's the light out, um, I do have my gamma cranked up. So you guys can see. But in the unturned game, you can't see. I can't even see when I'm playing the game. It's just that dark. So to do this, we need a zombie. Is it still not broken? No. Disappeared. Dang it. I thought it would stay like that. That'd be cool. Hey, Mr. Zombie. Hey. Come here. Yes, overkill. I got it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Smite for sword. <laughs> Looting two, I'm breaking a knockback. <laughs> yeah, I am the overkiller. I shall kill everything with this Smite sword. That would be useless in player versus player battles, but it works fine with the zombies. Yeah, I have another point for that. <laughs> that's where it's gone. Okay, done. Well, that's where I'm going to end off this episode, guys. So thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Remember to comment down below if you want to see me do any Steam games or any recommendations for other things that I talked about in this episode because I talked about a lot and I don't even remember what I talked about anymore. Um, check out the links down in the description. I'll try to remember what the links were. I think I'll have a couple in there. And uh, hopefully you all enjoyed. So thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Whatever that may be. Bye.